All right, I'm sure you guys are aware about this. You've seen it on social media. You've seen it everywhere. Also, we spoke about this on this platform and reacted to the video of when a man goes to an Omale concert with his girlfriend, a Nigerian artist. He calls her up on stage. She goes up there and doesn't only dance with him. She doesn't only dance with him. She gave him a free booby trap performance. Like, nah, shorty, you might have a calling in life. Like, you might have a calling in life. Dancing on laps just might be one of them. I'm not going to say that's your only calling because I don't know the poor girl. But the way she danced behind that silhouette challenge, she has a calling in life. Fast forward to the future, we seen her boyfriend went on Kaisenot's stream. Kaisenot blessed that man with bands to make her dance, even put him on like a him versus 20 women. He ended up getting a girl. On top of that, Kai talks about how he got mad brand deals and different and different brands reaching out to him for modeling and different things that he wanted to get in. Now, the girl that he was with is doing interviews now because the internet is super mad at her. So now she's doing interviews trying to clear her name. You guys know how I felt about Shorty. I feel like you did the worst thing possible. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Me as a man, seeing how defeated he looked walking at the end, like me and him look similar heights and stuff. It's like, nah, bro. Seeing that big tall brother with his head down to the ground just broke my heart because I saw me and him like I would never want to be in that situation in that position shorty you did him dirt shorty you did him beyond dirt this will create a villain story in a lot of men thank god he had a great outcome right now and he's getting a lot of blessings in life but lord you did your best to mentally scar this man forever let's see this interview that she did on the internet as this is getting a whole bunch of backlash as well let's jump into this subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below share your thoughts about everything going on do you feel bad for her do you feel like she has a leg to stand on and she didn't really do nothing too too wild? If you were, you understand. If you took your girl to, if you took your girlfriend to her favorite artist's concert, you would love to see her do the exact same thing. Him give her little baby pelvic thrusts from the back. It's fine. It's her favorite artist. You want to go to the back and jump on the tour bus with him next? Ah, once in a lifetime opportunity, huh? You one of those dudes? I ain't gonna judge you. I am. Process wine ever, but you were with somebody. Now this is the question on everybody's minds, girl. Who is this man? Were you in a committed and defined relationship with him? Um, yes, he was in a committed relationship. Just admit it right there, official tissue, they really were together. How long were you together for? Just under a year, so okay. going to a year. And when you say you were in a defined relationship, just so that everybody's aware, he was your boyfriend and you were his girlfriend? Yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. So you mentioned in your apology video, which we're going to get back to you, that you're a diehard fan of Omale. So I think my question here is, was this a date night? Was this planned? Was this who bought the tickets? Why were you guys there together? Can you kind of talk us through what happened? The um, so I'm a huge Omale fan. I've been a fan. Oh, girl, we know. Girl, we know you're a huge fan. Since he even started, like, music. So I really, really like his music. So I've always wanted to go to his concert. I was, I was going to see him, I think this was last year, but he cancelled that show. So I was like, oh, I've got to go to the next show, like 100%. So, so when he um, said that he was coming to London, I just bought the tickets. Um, and I Okay, that's something different than what people said online, because a lot of people were like, damn. And I felt personally hit like that. That would break my heart. Like, imagine buying your girl concert tickets, and you have to witness something like this. Like, you have to see something like this in front of you, and you bought her concert tickets. She bought the concert tickets. That's why she had her balls dragging through that floor. That's why she was walking around with no care in her heart. I thought I'd bring my boyfriend because he was going through a hard time himself. So I thought this might like get her man was going through a hold on. She wanted to bring her man to this concert because he was going through a hard time in life. And that's what you do. Oh no, just put the dagger through the heart. Put the wooden stake through the werewolf or vampire, whatever whatever monster that takes out. Show that you did it. Show that you did it. Silver stake. Oh my god. She said her man's going through a hard time, so she brought him to an all my lay concert. And what you did, you think is correct? And he was going through a hard time in life currently? I'd bring my boyfriend because he was going through a hard time himself. So I thought this might like his mind off it. So I just thought, yeah, I'll just, just crazy. Favorite artist, favorite person. So I just thought, yeah. Did you think I might get caught on stage? Did that ever, did that run through your mind? I've always wanted to go on stage with Omele. Like, I don't think there's any other artist that I'd even go on stage like with. So me and him, we've had this conversation like days before the concert. If I was to get caught on stage, like, would you be fine with that? And he said, yeah, like, that, that, that's fine. Oh, He's been okay with it. There's no way. And even if he did say it, I don't think he really thought it was that possible. Like, and if he did think it was that possible, he did not think that was the outcome. Ah, okay. Well, that kind of changes the narrative. So we've seen from the videos that have surfaced online that you were very excited to go on stage. And now that you've revealed to us that he was okay with it, you going on stage, was it something that you just told him or did you guys discuss it prior? We discussed it prior, obviously. 
but he didn't know that I'd get picked to go on stage. So um, when Omelay pointed at me, obviously in the video you can see like I was really, really excited, which I was. And he was encouraging me to go. Like he even said, yeah, like go. That's why I went in the first place. There is a point in the video where it looks as though he's holding on to you and saying, well, obviously we don't know what he was saying, but it does look like he was a bit reluctant to let you go on stage. Is, is that fair for us to say? Um, not really, just because he was holding me the entire show. Okay. So... That's why it looked like he didn't want me to go, but he was fine with it. And there was a point where I was like stood next to him and everyone thought like I moved away from him. But I was stood there because I was waiting for the security to get me out of the crowd. Okay. My young kings, if you don't feel comfortable in the situation, this is why I tell you don't rush into things. Because Lord, Lord, I just can't get anything out of my head after she said he was going through a tough time in life. So I thought of taking him out for teas and crumpets and then bringing him over to see all my lay in London. My girl's having a tough time in life. She's going through the pressures. Let me invite both of them and freak her friend in the concert. As she sits back and watches me like, nah, this don't even make see the logic behind this. Guys, let me know down below. Does this hurt? Does her interview change your mind? You know what? I get her now. It all makes sense. You know what? Even though he was holding me from my waist, it might have looked like he was holding me really, really tight and didn't want to let me go. But I jumped off him and was waiting for security to grab me out the concert. Shorty, you would have walked out the concert. You would have walked on stage and I would have walked out the door instantly. I'm not sitting back and watching that. You would have walked on stage. I'm walking out the door oh my god subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below guys what do you think about this also girls can i say one thing when you get on stage why is the first thing i always see artists look annoyed because the first thing girls do i get it trying to capture the moment it's to go on but you gotta remember you had a concert and now so they take out their phone that he was okay. it's a show going on it's a show and they here recording the whole thing that's how you're gonna get your ass off stage or you're gonna get your ass pelvic baby thrusted on stage is look something up, look that you up. just told him or did you guys discuss it prior damn bro just know is there any celebrity that can smash my girl is easy i don't want her she is for the streets subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below share your thoughts this is scary this is a scary world we live in